All right, this cattle guard here was at the end of the driveway. When we pulled it up, uh, we wrecked one of the sides. And so in trying to fix it, we screwed up the other side. So we bent the I-beam. See, the I-beam's all tweaked on that. I think this side is the side we first screwed up. So I moved a bunch of stuff around, got the cattle guard flipped over. You could see the bend in the beams better now. That one on that side is easy to fix. This one here, see it's got the dog leg in it. That's gonna be a little, a little harder to fix. This cattle guard uh, used to belong down at the end of the driveway and the renter wanted to put some cows out on the hill but this cattle guard was so full of dirt and crap it's kind of a lot like this one right here i'm going to show you to you it kind of looked like this now the cows at the end of the driveway would just walk right over this and get out onto the street so that was unacceptable i brought that big excavator down there and we tried yanking it up we couldn't get it i couldn't get it up with just the excavator sean i need your help uh get your earmuffs and jump on the excavator without the cat without the cat without your buddy so we use the excavator and the loader we use the loader right to get the cattle guard out yeah, we used the excavator and the loader and we got it out. Um, so hopefully we will to clean this thing up and straighten out the I-beams because there's a different spot in the driveway I want to install it. Don't ever do that, it's unsafe. I just, my back hurts so much trying to climb up and down equipment all day that I just do the unsafe things.
So I'm going to jump in here and explain what I'm doing real fast. That block of wood is just a tad bit short, so I nailed a block of wood to the end of it to get the right length that I need. Now I'm just going to slide it in between these I-beams and when I go pull on the bottom part, because the cattle guard is flipped upside down, when I pull on the bottom of the beam, I will pull it up against the block that is my stop. And I'll keep doing that all the way down the I-beams to get the correct straight I-beam that I'm looking for. So this, this beam here had a bow in it. It had a dog leg in it right where, where the block was, where this was. Because see, when I reached around trying to pick it up, I gone and pulled this in. See, it's all fractured. Well, you don't see the fracture here on this side, but you can see the, you know, I bent the steel throughout the whole thing. I broke some of the welds. So I have to take the pressure washer. I want to get the thing straight. We'll pressure wash it and then I'll go back and re-weld the whole thing. And then I'll build a new box and set this in the ground. And don't wait 14 years, 15 years to pull it out to clean it. Uh, what, you can't get it out? We have to get it out. We have to get it out so we can put it on the other side and do the same dang thing. There you go, just keep doing it. Slow and steady. Oh, <laughs> 
people are going to think I'm faking that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do for that there, and then with the welder out here, I'm going to use the old uh, Lincoln buzz box. You know, I might not. I might not. 